it's a dead LED bulb and I'm gonna make something new from the parts inside the LED bulb and let's start in most cases the driver is dead but I'm gonna use this small transformer let's pull out There are four pins, but the wire is connected just only on two of them. You can measure that with multimeter. So to make a jultive circuit uh, without using a coil, instead I'm gonna use this transformer that I pulled out from the LED bulb. You will need a 10 nanofarads capacitor. 1 kilo ohm resistor, 47 kilo ohm resistor, 1 N pen transistor, and 1 PNP transistor. In my case, I'm using 2N3904 and 2N3906. After building the, the circuit, I will try to light up these LEDs with only one AA battery, 1.5 volts. And here it is the, the schematic for those who want to build the circuit. Let's start. The circuit with the transformer is finished and I hook up a battery holder for AA battery 1.5 volts. From the battery the power will go onto the circuit, DC boost and then light up these LEDs that are connected in serial but we're gonna see Will it work? And it's working. With one AA battery, 1.5 volt, I light up eight LEDs. With this small DC boost circuit, that it's working great.
If you have a 3D printer, you can 3D print it a mini marble machine. Just like this one. Subscribe to my channel and watch hundreds of DIY videos. It's a RGB LED strip and I needed a controller for controlling each color. So today project will be simple and easy circuit for controlling each LED of this LED strip. RGB LED strip. Okay, here it is the the simple diagram. You will need one transistor, N pen transistor. In my case, I'm using 2N3904 transistor, small N pen transistor. One potentiometer, five kilo ohms, and for the base, one resistor of 220 kilo ohms. Because I'm using a LED strip with resistor for each LED and it's built inside the strip. If you don't have a LED strip and you will do this circuit for for ordinary LEDs, you will need to use also one more resistor for a LED that will be around 470 ohms for voltage from 5 volts up to 12 volts. Forgot to tell you, you need to make three of these for controlling each color: red, green, blue. What you gonna need for make three potentiometers. 5 kilo ohms each. Three resistors, 220 kilo ohms. Three transistors, N pen transistor, three of them. This gadget will be USB powered, so I needed a USB male connector and proto board. Let's start making.
to explain one more time. There are three potentiometers and the first pin of the potentiometer is directly connected to a meter of the transistor. The base from the transistor through 220 kilo ohm resistor is connected on pin 2 or second leg of the potentiometer and the collector will be output for each LED. The LED RGB mixer is almost finished and I solder four wires. One is positive, one is for red, green and blue. Let's solder the LED strip. The USB RGB mixer gadget is finished and now I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna test on my homemade 2 in 1 power supply. From here it gives 12 volts, it has USB port that give 5 volts. If you want to see how I made this, check the link in the description. And let's try it. This is red, green, blue. Let's turn off the lights. Red, blue, this will need it to be green, RGB, I made it blue, no mistake, okay, and green, we can mix a colors, see on color, oh. this is better light, red, some blue, okay, blue, turn off the blue, green and blue, green and red, yellow. This is awesome. I will make the most useless gadget, most useless machine. On YouTube I found a one video and it's a minimal Arduino useless machine with attitude and it's uploaded by Brandon Clark and thanks a lot to Brandon for sharing this project and I am also gonna do this project and you're gonna see the result of end of this video. It's a minimal parts useless machine. You need just to 3D print these two parts to have micro servo one on off switch couple of screws and digi spark mini board with 80 tiny 85 chip 
if you want to build your own useless gadget you can download the code in description below or you can check uh, other video from Brandon Clark and also I will put links for downloading the 3d things okay let's start making It's finished and connected the switch and the servo to DigiSpark board with 80Tiny85 and it's ready for fun. Look at this. I am turning on, he turning off, but with attitude. funny and it's very funny gadget useless machine turn on <laughs> that was all for today video I hope you enjoy in this little project and Thanks for watching.